Hello and welcome to our new video series for GameOfWarRealTips.com. Each week we will be doing a new video to accompany each of our guides on the most popular topics in Game of War. This is your host, Navi. Hello Real Tips readers, this week I'll be looking at the newly introduced runes and runes research tree. You can think of runes just like you think about gems, a way to add more bonuses to your gear that your enemy can't see. As of right now, runes are only available for weapons, but it's likely they'll become available for all gear slots soon. Runes have extraordinarily high combat bonuses in comparison to gear and gems, meaning your enemy could be packing some major heat and you would have no idea. This will become even more of a reality as runes are released for all gear slots. Right now, if you compare the bonuses of 4 gems to 4 runes, you'll notice the rune bonuses are much greater. I predict that in no more than a few months, Game of War will release rune sets just like they have gem sets. For those of you who haven't engaged much with runes, let me quickly and show you how embedding them works. It's nearly the same as embedding gems. Go to your hero and select the preset that has the weapon you want to embed your runes in. Click on the weapon to go to your weapon inventory. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a button called Gems slash Runes. Click that button and you'll be taken to a screen with two tabs at the top, Gems and Runes. Hit the Runes tab. Now just tap an empty slot and choose the rune you'd like to embed. It's that easy. Time for the juicy stuff. First off, the difference in bonuses that runes provide for normal gear versus core gear are tremendous. That shouldn't be a surprise to anyone, but for the sake of discussion, I've put two screenshots on screen. The left one being my normal set for Pegasus with boosts of 1100 attack and 1200 health, and the right one being my core set for Ray with boosts of 2200 health and 2800 attack. That's more than twice as much bonus for core gear than for normal gear. As I mentioned previously, at the time of this video, runes only have attack and health bonuses but it's only a matter of time before the runes with other bonuses are available. So health traps, take advantage of these runes right now and show those rattle leaders who's the boss. To do that, you'll need to understand the runes research tree and which categories you want to research first. There's four main rune related categories that you need to pay attention to and many other combat boost categories that are actually extremely important and really valuable. So let's start with the rune ones. The unlock normal weapon rune slot and unlock core weapon rune slot categories are required to literally unlock rune slots 1 through 4 for your normal and core gear. The rune multiplier in normal weapon slot and rune multiplier in core weapon slot are required to massively boost the stats of your runes via high multipliers. So that's it for the rune categories. Let's get into the combat categories. Interspersed throughout the tree are every major combat category in the game besides debuffs. There is all troop type defense, health, and attack, wonder defense and wonder health, troop attack with hero, and troop attack versus empire. And okay, there is one debuff category, troop health debuff versus empire, which is definitely intended to nerf the health trap phenomenon right now. So health traps, you probably only have a couple weeks before you're gonna start getting nailed by some rally leaders. If you're a wonder player or stronghold rally leader, it goes without saying this tree is a gold mine for you. If you're a trap player, this tree is pretty convenient for you because the research you need is at the top to the middle of the tree. Trap players should first work on unlocking runes and getting the multipliers done for increased bonuses. Then, if you still have the resources and currency, you can complete the defense and health categories for each troop type. Fortunately, the tree lets you jump around a bit and get the multipliers done out of sequence without finishing the other combat researches. So health traps, you can research the multipliers and use the health runes to improve your trap while you work your way up to the defense and health categories. Runes are still pretty new, but as they continue to develop, I will continue to release videos on rune strategy because I expect them to become a huge part of the game. If you want to read our updated rune strategies right as they come out, you can check back regularly to the link on screen or sign up for our email list where I send out the new strategies before making videos on them. Thanks for watching this week's video guide on runes. See you next week.